you know, Kaz, I would want you to lose this opportunity that you have with this person. You know, I really wouldn't want you to do that. So let's start your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. So that is in the description bar below. You'll see it says start reading. Just click on that and it'll jump start you to the to the um to the start of the week. As I always say, please just take what resonates. Um and leave what doesn't. I did forget to say this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So give me a moment just let me leave. Hard. Then... Let me take this in and I'll be back. Okay, so Cancer, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as um, this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always just kind of flip switch whatever side resonates the most. Okay, all right. So just looking at the past, for you, there was, you know, you saw this person as emotionally fulfilling. Definitely, we've got the Ten of Cups there, which talks about emotional fulfillment. Um, or just you acknowledge it that this person could provide you with that in some way, shape or form. So I feel like you was definitely embracing this moving ahead or advancing this or just kind of being content with how things are, um, how things are moving along with the page, with the page, with the, um, the nine of pentacles that, you know, things were, uh, fi were fine with your person. They're seeing it as, okay, you know, you know, we've come together. This is someone I'm either dating or we're already in a relationship of some form, but they're definitely seeing you as someone that they're coming together and collaborating with in some way, shape or form. It's interesting though that they do have or had, because this is the past, there was this feeling for them of you entertaining others or you being um, maybe too familiar. And I say too familiar um, simply because of how you're both showing up now, but we'll get to that in a minute. But this third energy uh, or third party type of thing, Maybe that has to do with maybe the amount of tension that you get because currently there's tension represented by the fire. There's a lot of tension here. I would go so far as to say unspoken tension as well. I don't feel like you both have communicated what is causing this or, you know, what's going on here. I don't feel like you've addressed it. However, however... You know, this person is kind of taking this a bit more serious than you are um, because I feel like they're creating it simply because they're feeling like you're entertaining others. And I don't really think you are. I feel like, well, maybe, maybe some of you might be, um, but I feel like it's more about you just being admired and you just enjoying the attention, the admiration that you get from outsiders, from others. And this person is possibly... Uh, interpreting it in just a way that is not meaning for it to, or it's not kind of, um, what's the word? What am I looking for? They're interpreting it in a way that's not intended. Let's say that. Um, it's not, it doesn't mean as much to you as it, as it does to them. Maybe because they've not experienced this type of thing before, because I feel like you're really kind of lapping that up. You're enjoying it. Maybe if you're out and you kind of see the, you know, not seek, but get the attention from others. And, you know, if you're being somewhat disrespectful, let's say that, and then, you know, you're crossing boundaries and then you might 
see problems and issues. And maybe that's what's going on here because there is a lot of tension here. This person is focused on building. You know, this is an opportunity for them to actually build with you. This is, you know, they're taking this seriously. Where not to say you're not, but I feel like what's going on for you is more about more about letting this person in because I feel like with, with, in your challenge, we've got a four of swords, which talks about processing something, um, digesting something. And then we have the three of swords, which talks about you know, heartbreak or fear sometimes. So this could represent either fear or heartbreak for you, but whatever it is, it's causing, it's, it's causing a, a, a challenge for you in this um, relationship or this connection. Simply because I feel like you're not able to get on board with this person in the way that they would like simply because this hasn't been dealt with. It's like, yes, this person emotionally fulfills me. Yes, I can. Or uh, there's the potential for that. And I'm content here. I enjoy it here. However, I can only go so far because I haven't dealt with that. And I do love the fact that this is coming up for you is um, the eight of swords, which talk about you just constantly thinking, unable to come out of those uh, types of thoughts, which is keeping you trapped. I say that simply because sometimes we need to go through a path or, or, or walk a path that is, or what we would deem as tough. But what it does is it brings us to a realization of, um, or just kind of forcing us, uh, wrong word, um, holding up a mirror to what we need to deal with and the urgency of that. I feel like this represents that for you in terms of you dealing and taking a look at that. Because I really do feel, Cancer, that this is an opportunity um, that you, you might not want to miss with this person. I feel like this person is very serious. I feel like they definitely have your back simply because I feel this person has to defend you or there's something around them defending you, protecting this connection from naysayers, people's comments, opinions about you, about this relationship, about what they're doing within this relationship. Yeah, and them, you know, having to defend you, really, or defend this connection, like I said, from outsiders, from others. I don't know, I feel like this person is very serious. I feel like this person, you know, if you were looking to to actually have a serious relationship, I just get this sense this is the person for that. You know, and you don't wanna you don't wanna miss that. This person's thinking about transformation, really changing this relationship. You know, I tell you something. <clears throat> I will say this. Sometimes and I feel like and I'm saying this simply because I feel like this is one of those types of relationships. I feel like, you know, sometimes we enter relationships where, you know, they teach us a lot um, and they also provide us with an opportunity to actually grow uh, and I feel like this person this relationship is pre presenting or pro providing you with an opportunity to really grow and evolve out of this old stuff I'm going to call this old stuff because I feel like this is old stuff but it's not old in the sense of it affecting your now now with this person this person you can actually do you know make something of or make something with something substantial as well something meaningful you know and i feel like this which is why i love the eight of swords because i feel like this is that type of relationship cancer you know and sometimes yeah you know it's difficult it depends on the extent of what this represents sometimes it's difficult to to to, to face those things but however just think of the outcome, what it means when you do come out the opposite side or the other side. You get to, you know, really move into a place of having a fulfilling relationship because I feel like very much that this will provide that for you. You know, but are you going to embrace that? Are you going to be able to make that transformation or that transition? Are you going to be brave enough to do that? I feel like this relationship is definitely calling for you to do that. Is this person going to be patient enough to be able to hang around long enough to deal with these outsiders or these other people's opinion, as well as focusing on, you know, 
trying to evolve and grow and move this relationship forward in a way that it needs to. Like I said, there is this transformation on their mind, this big change. This is a major arcana. This is a lot of passion, not desire to make that happen. So there is that silver line in here. The thing that kind of worries me mm. is worry, the word I would like to use. The thing that concerns me, better, I guess. The thing that concerns me is just the extent that this person has to defend this. That's a bit because it's causing them to act a bit reckless with the with the with the night in their thinking. It's causing them to act a bit reckless. And I'm not sure I don't feel like that's their character. They're the type to do that under normal circumstances. So that might be a wake wake up call for them. Um or it might not be. Or it might not be. Um, usually at this point in the reading we move into part two, get a fuller picture and we dig deeper into those things. But as it stands, I will be implementing that. Uh, in a couple of weeks, Kai is just there with me and just kind of getting the website together first. And that's taking longer than expected, but we'll get there. Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, but as it stands, yeah, it's, you know, don't miss this opportunity. Please don't. I feel like this person has been sent for a reason for you to uh, support you in growing as well and evolving out of this old stuff that's been going on with you. So hopefully this is giving you some formal clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love reading and if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye mm -hmm.